Welcome to the plantation. That's right, it's time to bust out the main theme of the game, because this is the final area of the game. Yeah, I know, I I, I, I know the game is short, Tr like, trust me, it, it, it's no surprise to me that we're actually at the end this quickly, but yes, this is the last main area of the game um, that we'll be exploring and backtracking in and whatnot, so, uh, before the gauntlet that is the end game, so, uh, let's actually head through here first and, uh, See what the hell is through here. This looks weird. Whoa. Holy crap. Halder. Anatupone. <laughs> Maikido. And I guess the doctor. Interesting. So yeah, this is actually the form, the uh, hall of the former demon crown wielders, which is really interesting. And uh, yeah, this this tree guy is already working on the next next in kin next of kin i guess so yeah interesting i wonder what this place is though it's kind of weird and there's a door down there too i'm sure we'll never find out okay so the plantation the final area of the game and uh just like i said that like every area kind of has like its own gimmick like outer wall is like a completely vertical area and everything the gimmick of the plantation is just how Fucking huge this room is. It is without a doubt the biggest map in the entire game, and it is uh, almost overwhelming, actually. Uh, what is also overwhelming is <gasps> Curly is alive! And she doesn't remember me. Are you fucking kidding me? That's fantastic. Scrap metal Jesus, Cthulhu. Oh, really? Interesting. Hmm. Well, I remember there was a... The graveyard had a shitload of mushrooms back in... All the way back in Mamiga Village, but unless we get, manage to get back there, I don't think we're going to be able to get that mushroom anytime soon. Hmm. They can be used as steps. Interesting. Um. Okay, let's just... What the... Oh, weird. Where does that actually lead from? Interesting. Anyway, let's just actually just get through this area, because, again, again, if you're if you're not careful, you could end up backtracking a shitload just to get stuff, so I'm going to do, I'm pretty sure, the way that the, the perfect order that the game wants you to do everything. Also, there's a sparkly in these spikes. Don't even bother trying to actually get the sparkly, because you're just going to die. So just ignore it for now. I know that's tough. But just trust me, you have to ignore it. Do not enter. Also locked. Well, that's freaking fantastic, right? As I say, oh, I'm not going to waste time, and I'm going to go the way that the game wants you to go. Well, I guess I already screwed that up, so I apologize. Okay, let's get back up here then, I guess. Also, you're going to marvel at how happy this music is, because, yeah, this is definitely a far cry from the last few music tracks we've been listening to. That's been all very depressing. Anyway, if we actually uh, get through here, we can actually find another locked door. God damn it. Something to keep in mind for later. One r interesting thing about the plantation, too, is that these enemies are uh, gu guardians, basically, and they are pacifists. They won't actually attack... Well, I guess pacifist isn't the right word. They won't actually attack you unless you attack them. So let's just kill this guy. <laughs> You know, I think it's supposed to be that you attack them, and then it's like, oh shit, this guy's really coming after me, but, uh, yeah, the game underestimates how fucking stupidly powerful the spur is. Uh, also the Mamiga are here, by the way, if you couldn't tell, and, uh, yeah, they don't like to play nice with killer robots, uh, because we're not in Mamiga Village right now, but, uh... Okay, that's sweet, let's max that out. Okay, and let's head through here. Oh, sweet. Um, yeah, I vaguely remember a fisherman rabbit. Oh. Oh, really? Oh, see you by the pond. Okay, so in this rest area, yeah, these guys are still not going to pay us any attention. because, Well, at least that one guy did, because we actually met him prior, but yeah, these guys don't care at all about us, which 
For good reason, they're probably scared to death right now of what's everything that's going on. Oh, come on, I cannot believe that hit me, that's bullshit. Anyway, if we actually uh, head back down to where the fisherman is, we can actually uh, immediately claim a uh, reward, because he's obviously he's a fisherman and he's gonna fish like there's no tomorrow. So if we actually head all the way back over here, I mean, it's not that far, but yeah, still. If we head all the way back over here, try to ignore the cavalcade of enemies. Oh, really? Sweet. And if we take a look inside the bucket and try not to die, we can actually find the teleporter room key. Fantastic. And using the teleporter room key, we can actually use it right here, because, yeah, the key to the door is literally outside of the door. Oh, hey. What's up? I'm just going to use the teleporter. Don't mind me. What? God damn it. Uh, hello? Oh, God. In jail again? Are you kidding me? First the labyrinth, and now this. Hey, I recognize you, though. Uh, yeah, I never would have guessed with the bars and everything. Well, good on you for opposing his, his ongoing experiments. Well, yeah, obviously. Ah, damn, really? Hmm. Well, interesting. Uh, anyway, uh, sorry, jail isn't really my style, so I'm actually gonna... Uh, excuse me? What the hell? She was here! Huh? You're kidding me. Damn. <laughs> that was pretty much the end of the world, you know. Shit. That kind of reminds me of, like, uh, Castle in the Sky, kind of like Miyazaki. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I wouldn't be surprised if Cave Story takes inspiration from Miyazaki. It's, it's, you know, being made by, you know, Studio Pixel, who's Japanese. Hmm. Damn. What a dick. Hidden safe house? Oh, sweet. Yurats Evac. Or, you know, it's pretty obvious that the last letter is capitalized. Cave story backwards. What a hell of a password. Uh, oh, it's the same thing. Whoopsie daisy. Sorry, I'm just going to skim through your letter because I don't care. There we go. Okay, so, sorry, but, uh, jail life isn't really for me, so I'm just gonna <laughs> boost my way out of here. Sweet. See ya. Okay, back in the plantation, and if I actually look at the map, we actually are way the hell up here now, so if we actually, uh, go over here, we can actually find a goodie. By the way, uh, don't, uh, go up here yet, because, yeah, these red death signs are any indication... You will die if you go up here right now, so don't even bother. Anyway, uh, at the top of the plantation, we actually head all the way back up to the top left corner. We can actually find a goodie if we don't let these mosquito things kill us. Those guys remind me of, like, Rayman enemies or something. It's kind of funny. Anyway, there's actually a life capsule buried all the way up here. Fantastic. And uh, I believe there's actually only one more uh, in the main game to get, so uh, uh, just keep an eye out for it. Uh, don't worry, you actually can't get it right now, even if you wanted to. Oh, sweet, jail. <laughs> I mean, I mean, bad. That's bad. Uh, oh, at least these guys are actually talking to us. Except they're terrified of us, so that's not good. 
Hmm. That's unfortunate. What the hell is this doing down here? Uh, yeah, I guess why not? What the hell? Oh, well, I guess now we know that this is how Kazuma got here. Jeez, he, he teleported from jail. That's one hell of a... <laughs> I mean, that sucks that he teleported from jail into a locked room in the middle of nowhere, but... Oh, well, what can you do? Anyway, yeah, so if you wanted to go to the bushlands for some reason, I guess this is how you do it, but yeah, just it's not particularly useful at all. So let's head back. Okay, back to the plantation. Don't worry, critters. I'll get you out of here eventually. Or kill ya. <laughs> okay, back in the plantation, and uh, now that we're actually all the way up here... Uh, can't be talking to humans. Ugh. God damn it, I was so close to breaking that shell open. Anyway, if we actually uh, can't do anything up here, so if we actually head all the way back down, I know, I can't believe we're doing this again, but if we actually head all the way back down to the fishing hole, we can actually head back into that teleporter room that we got conked out in, and uh, hopefully the Guardian isn't actually guarding anything anymore. Fantastic, he's actually gone now. So we, now we can actually use the teleporter to break, or teleport right back to Arthur's house, which is way more convenient than teleporting to the grasslands. Hey. Uh, I'm surprised his, I'm surprised he's not like talking to us like, oh yeah, we, we found Sue and everything. Oh well. Anyway, we're saving our game. We can actually, now that we're back in Amiga Village, if you remember, uh, they said that, uh, Curly needed a specific mushroom, and if again, if you remember all the way back from the beginning of the game, the graveyard was infested with mushrooms. And yeah, as you can see, mushrooms are plenty. But the specific mushroom that we need, by the way, fuck this bear. Boop. <laughs> nice try, asshole. The specific mushroom we need is actually up here. Hey. Uh, yes I do. Fun fact, if you actually come to talk to this mushroom before learning about the mushroom in the first place, he'll he'll ask you if you have a business. If you say yes, he'll be like, no, you don't. And then he just won't say anything else, which is pretty funny. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, no, I do need it. Yes, I need it. Yes. No, I do need it. Thank you! <laughs> okay, after that bout, uh, battle of double negatives, we get the mushroom badge. Sweet. If we examine it, I'm sure it'll help Curly out of her jam. It serves no purpose. <sighs> you swindler, you! <laughs> well, at least we didn't have to go all the way back to Curly just to find out that that doesn't do anything. Jesus Christ, this game's a dick. Oh, really? Well, I'm gonna have to do... I'm gonna have to eat you then. Or at least make my friend eat you, I guess. Gross. Oh, shit. It's on! My Pignon! This boss fight is uh, not really hard at all. Uh, never mind, he's actually doing a shitload of damage. So yeah, the uh, gimmick of this boss fight is the fact that he does a shitload of damage. Wow, that's ridiculous. Um, he will actually... Uh, constantly be sending boulders out and uh, whenever he jams or jams himself into the wall like that that's your uh, best opportunity to hit him there we go we actually almost died to this mushroom I cannot believe it sweet the ma pignon however the hell you pronounce that I cannot believe he almost died to that thing that's really embarrassing I'm sorry I guess those boulders do a lot of damage so I shouldn't feel too bad Anyway, so that actually does it with everything we can do in the cemetery, except not... That's actually not everything we can do in the cemetery, because... Do you see it? Do you see it? I know you're looking for it. Do you see him yet? Because I see him right in front of me. In fact, I see him right there. Nope. He's... Nope. Now he's there. Now he's there. Do you see him? Little guy. <laughs> And yes, for the record, 
this <laughs> this fucker is here at the very beginning of the game. You, if you have the eyesight, you can see him at the very beginning of the game, just wandering around the graveyard. Not that you can do anything to him. I think if you actually try to speak with him, he'll actually say something, but not that you can grab him yet, unfortunately. So yeah, it's actually uh, cool that we can kill two birds with one stone by coming to the cemetery. We got the mushroom, and we got the uh, little man. So yeah, I'll actually, uh, I'm just actually going to head back to Arthur's house and t teleport. Actually, you know what? First, before talking to Curly, I'm actually going to go... Basically, I'm going to teleport to the plantation, then go to the top of the outer wall, fall all the way down the outer wall, and then hand the little guy over. I know, it's a lot of backtracking. Trust me, it is worth it. So uh, first of all, I'm actually going to save my game real quick. You know, it'd be nice to actually heal up and whatnot. There we go. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna see you uh, at the very bottom of the outer wall, because, uh, yeah, that's a, that's at least like five minutes of backtracking just to get there. Trust me, it's worth it. <laughs> 